Sir, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So, on the docket is going to be getting this thing running. I should hopefully have it running by the end of this video. If I don't, uh, don't sue me for it. We're going to do everything in our power to get it running. Got to make some adjustments on the starter. We, I, you have to get the exhaust done. I got to finish welding up the header and everything else is coming along. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna work with the starter. You can see basically now <clears throat> what I've done. Put these screws back in. Cut us a piece of DOM. Slides in here like so, which is a good thing. We're gonna mark center. Take a measurement on this. This is how we cheat. <clears throat> Let's go here like this. That's not center. Gonna tack it up, make sure it's center. No, the inside is okay. Ah, yes. Yes. The inside's okay. The outside is not okay. You put a good good bead. I like painting things when they're hot. Kind of bakes in. Well, we're at that point, making up battery ends, and it's looking like the battery's gonna end up getting put in that location, unfortunately, unless I can find somewhere else. Man, we are super limited real estate on this here truck. Makes it extremely difficult. Fortunately, I've got a gel cell so if i've got to lay it on its side or something well worst case scenario if i've got to spin the battery on its side somewhat in that location i can do that i'm going to end up putting the speaker box back here anyway and i can enclose the uh uh the battery so i might just have no choice and if i want to add one here where my finger is i can do the same over here so worst case scenario, that's what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna keep making battery ends. And I got the starter in. So this is the best that I can come up with. The only thing I don't like is the battery post is a little close to uh, the bolt down there. I may end up pulling it out anyway and kind of uh, insulating the bolt. You know, it's starter ain't gonna roll, this thing's, you know lock solid but i got wire loom on everything maybe i'll just cut a hose in half and slide uh slide a black hose you know over that put some uh, clamps on it and call it good i think that'll work again this is just temporarily i've got other things that i've got to work on i can't spend all summer long you know working on the uh samurai so all right, we got an issue with our battery leads on this bracket. So I'm going to mark the bracket, pull the starter back out, notch the bracket out a little bit, and I should be able to get some clearance for my wire to come through, my lead, to go to the alternator. What a pain in the ass. Got clearance for our starter. Starter's in. Leads are all hooked up. Wire to the alternator. From the alternator to the starter. From the starter to the battery. We got our ground connected. Got to grease that up so it doesn't corrode. And we are super close from firing this bad boy up. Super, super, super close. All righty, sir. Saturday, you can tell from my face, I'm pooped. Uh, I've got sand and all sorts of metal debris all over me. I'm pretty pleased 
with what I'm about to show you. I hope you all feel the same. So here goes nothing. All right, I welded up the header, sanded it down as best as I could. It's gonna work. I painted it, ceramic coat. It's gonna work for me, man. I can always take it off later on down the road, have a stainless one made, but it's all good for now. So working on the exhaust, this is what we've got so far. Um, I'm gonna go up and over. I gotta make a clamp for the bend. I gotta decide on how I'm gonna split it because in case, you know, you've gotta take it apart, obviously. And this is what we're looking at, man. I like how it is, you know? I think it's gonna look good. I think it's gonna work good. I think it's gonna sound good. I made an uh, ignition coil bracket. I've got to trim this up, get a straight instead of a 90. There's no point in having a 90 and just do it, do a, a nice straight. Well, maybe we can do a 90. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I've got, uh, I got the coil bracket made. Uh, a lot of stuff done. A lot of stuff. I'm doing everything I can every day, hitting it hard. It's not easy life isn't easy things ain't easy things don't go as planned so just gotta roll with the punches my buddy was supposed to come today mr. J to do the brakes uh, I guess he's having some difficulties with what stuff at the house who knows I don't know but that's gonna set me back too. hopefully he can get here this weekend I'm really trying to get um, the goal is to get the body on here during the week and get this engine running in the frame. That's my goal, fingers crossed. So I gotta take a shower, I'm itchy as all. We'll catch you tomorrow and that will do it. Deuces. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the actual moment of truth. I am minutes away from firing this engine up. Y'all are gonna be the first ones to see it. So. With that being said, let me spin the camera around, just go over a few things. So, I had to redo the header, the bottom side of it. I merged the two into one, had absolutely no choice. I'm gonna end up having a header made. It's good for right now. It is what it is. I don't have the catalytic converter in because it hasn't gotten here yet. Uh, I made a hanger bracket for our U. I'm gonna do a single exhaust. We're gonna keep it simple. I'm not trying to overcomplicate stuff. I got a hanger back here. <clears throat> I've got some band clamps coming for the ends of those. Uh, this side I can obviously weld on, but I'm not finished yet. I got to make it to the tip over here. So let me show you what I've got. I went ahead and primed the engine. Uh, green is starter. So if I hold it like this, she'll crank over like so. Uh, I had to put a plug in there. See that silver plug behind the starter next to the oil filter? That's where the uh, oil pressure sensor goes. I need to, um, I want a mechanical gauge. So I got to get the stuff and put it in and blah, blah, blah. So <clears throat> we've got yellow is our coil, 12 volts supplied. Red is our fuel pump. Once I connect these two and hit the, uh, the green she should fire up so here goes nothing so i just want to point out i have absolutely no idea what's going to happen right now for all i know i can start it up and the rpm pegs to the ceiling we have absolutely no idea but fingers crossed god willing uh this bad boy is going to start up so i'm going to connect our coil With our fuel pump, that's also going to be our kill switch. Well, I don't know if I've got spark. I need to verify and see if I've got spark. For all I know, I don't. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I had to do a slight upgrade. 
to our ignition coil. This is the stock Toyota ignition coil. I'll go over what I was doing in just a second, but uh, holy shit. think you understand until you've been in this kind of situation this right here meant everything in the world to me to get this thing running to hear this motor running that it's got no knocks I've got no issues everything in the world to me right now to know that everything's good on this engine man I'm super pumped, super, super, super pumped. I, I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's been a long road. Let me spin this camera around, show you what I've done. All right, so initially what I was gonna do was use the trigger off of the ignition to trigger the ground on the coil coils can't get 12 volts they've got to get i think around 8 volts something like that or 10 volts um you put a, a resistor in in line this is key on power uh and then when the distributor rotates picks up your ground which triggers your coil your ignition coil to tell it when to, to fire this i had i guess from one of my old motors either that motor or this motor thank god i had this because uh, I wouldn't have had had to I wouldn't have gotten to hear this thing running right now. So all right So that's the story on the ignition coil. I'm obviously going to use that now. I'm not going to mess with that I'll just take that bracket off. I'll just take that coil off. I'll get rid of the resistor Done. I'm waiting on the catalytic converter uh, I've got to weld up some of the exhaust left on it I've got to finish the elbow here to for my for my tip that I've made just old it out so it fits underneath I may not even use it who knows we'll see uh, I just can't believe it I I really just can't believe it I'm 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 speechless that it runs no leaks I had a leak earlier because I had uh, taken out the whatchamabob right there. Man. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do for this video. I hit my goal, got my engine running. I feel like a million bucks. Now I'm going to go relax the rest of the day. Man, what a great feeling. What a great feeling. Listen, if you like the content you're seeing, Smash that thumbs up button for me. It means a lot to me. Helps out the channel, the algorithms, and all that fun stuff. 
Without you, these videos are not possible. That is true and accurate information. I'm gonna pull the ripcord to Showerland because I'm all itchy. We'll catch you on the next one. Big things are coming, my friend. Big things are coming. We're gonna have the samurai together very soon. Taking it for a cruise soon. So with that being said, have a great day. See you on the next one. Talk to you soon.